When you download add-ins from Autodesk Labs, you want to take a few moments and review the available information. The Shrinkwrap tool offers a PDF file as a user guide for the new application. There's also a video here which shows you how to use the new process. Let's take a look at the video. You'll find a brief demonstration of the application. You'll actually have an Autodesk AE walk you through how this particular utility works inside of Inventor. This application actually uses the derived components to create a single part or a single solid body from your Inventor assembly. The goal of the feature is to deliver the outside envelope without revealing all the internal bodies. You can use the suppress part option to remove certain parts that get in the way between the outside shell and the internal components. This tool also has a number of tools available that help you seal all the gaps. You can use the close face command to close all planar faces. There's also other commands that allow you to thicken holes and remove gaps that way. Now that we have all the openings closed, we can go ahead and begin the process of creating the shrink wrap part. We'll turn the parts back on, or we'll unsuppress those features, because we want them to show up in the shrink wrap body. Now right now there's 337 faces in the internal components and we can certainly reduce that by suppressing the internal components. This makes the calculation a lot easier. Now when we shrink wrap the part we only have 59 faces detected. So now we have a derived component with no interior geometry. It's, an app, it's a correct representation of the exterior body that we need to send to our customers. It's also broken from the original assembly, so we don't have to worry about it updating inadvertently. Some of the tools at Autodesk Labs offer a chance for users to check out future enhancements to the Inventor application. These technology previews allow users to get experience using new processes and develop practices for incorporating these changes into their existing workflows. The first technology preview we're going to focus on is available in the Technologies menu. We're going to take a look at the Inventor 2009 User Interface Tech Preview. The user interface of Autodesk Inventor will be changing in the upcoming releases. Users can preview these changes by downloading the Inventor 2009 User Interface Tech Preview. This preview offers users the option to start the Inventor application using the new ribbon-based user interface. There's also a video outlining all the changes included in the download. I've opened my Inventor application using the Inventor 2009 User Interface Tech Preview. You can see the new user interface on the screen. This is a preview of the upcoming changes for the user interface that will appear in the next release of Inventor. Now there are a lot of changes. The main change is the ribbon bar that you see across the top of the screen. We also have a file browser that gives us access to our typical commands, new, open, save, publish, and print. The icons on the panel bar are a lot larger than they have been in previous releases. If you hover over the icon, you'll see a help tip, and if you wait a second, you'll get an expanded help tech tip. You'll also see your navigation tools on the screen now. You have the view cube, the steering wheel, pan and zoom, orbit, look at, and a number of other navigation tools available but the functionality is still the same. I'll draw a simple design of a circle. We'll go ahead and dimension that. We'll click the return button to finish our sketch and then start the extrude command.
As you can see, there are big changes coming for the Inventor user interface. So take this opportunity to get ahead of the game. Download the Inventor 2009 User Interface Tech Preview from Autodesk Labs. The last tech preview we'll look at for this video is the advanced simulation for Autodesk Inventor. Performing a structural analysis on a single component is one of the main features of Inventor Professional. Autodesk Labs now offers an advanced simulation technology preview for Inventor Professional that allows designers to perform a structural analysis on an assembly of parts. This new functionality allows stress forces to be passed from component to component throughout an entire assembly. Designers can determine the part relationships at each point of contact, ensuring an accurate result. The download of the Advanced Simulation Preview includes several tutorials for new users to understand how to analyze and evaluate the assembly. I've opened the Advanced Simulation Technology Preview for Autodesk Inventor Professional. I've gone through one of the tutorials that was supplied with this uh, utility and I've got the results displayed on the screen. I've created a functional study of this assembly. I'm going to right click on the functional study and I'm going to view the current attributes. I've got a loaded force sitting on top of the assembly and if I spin the part upside down or the assembly upside down you can see that I fixed the bottom of all of the T-bars. This interface actually allows me to define a parameter from the original model and we can optimize the design of the assembly based upon that parameter. So as we apply the forces on the part we can actually evaluate what size steel structure would best suit this design. I'm going to click over to the results tab so that you can see the results. We can run a Vamesis analysis on the assembly as well as a displacement. You can animate your results. Or you can chart it graphically. You can also export your results to an HTML report. The structural assembly analysis is an amazing advance for Inventor Professional and it's available today at Autodesk Labs. So whether you're an experienced user or new to the Inventor application, you'll find tools to assist you at Autodesk Labs. Users will find tools for the simplest modeling task and the most complex assembly analysis. If you haven't visited the Autodesk Labs site, make sure you do it soon. If you've already been to the Autodesk Labs site, Make sure you go back regularly. New tools and previews are posted all the time. My name's Rusty Belcher, and it's been my pleasure to deliver this tech tip for you today. Please check our other tech tips available at avatechsolutions.com.